Well, for the last 30 years, there's been effective therapy for Gaucher disease, and that pretty much targets patients who've been well diagnosed and been well known to the community of having Gaucher disease. Those patients have been well taken care of and treated. The problem we face is a lot of uh, patients who have undiagnosed Gaucher disease are in the population, we think, and they may be missed by general practitioners and internists for failure to diagnose them appropriately. So we've tried to create some guidelines and are trying to create more guidelines to diagnose patients who may be earlier in their course, and that's the purpose of this Delphi analysis. Well, what we've done is we've got a collection of about 22 worldwide Gaucher experts and asked what are the important things that we should think about in terms of diagnosing Gaucher disease. A Delphi analysis is a procedure by which you have multiple iterations of questions being asked of experts, and each tier of questioning results in a different level of evidence. And so we've asked many Gaucher disease in their first analysis, what are the important symptoms and signs of Gaucher disease? That results in one tier level of patients' uh, symptoms that we're going to ac accumulate. We then retabulate that diagnostic group and go back to the same group a second time and try to clarify whether the things we identified in the first round are significant or not. We then narrow down the number of diagnostic criteria. And in the third level, we've, we hone in on to how important they are from a rating scale of you know, 1 to 10 as to which, which of these symptoms, such as a low plate count, is important for a Gaucher doc to make the diagnosis of Gaucher disease. Our ultimate goal is to have a scoring scheme that we can use to identify patients who should be tested for Gaucher disease. Yeah. So what we found out is that things that are common in Gaucher disease, such as thrombocytopenia and enlarged, and an, and enlarged spleen, are probably the two major determinants of patients who should be screened for Gaucher disease. Either by itself is probably inadequate to diagnose Gaucher disease. If you add to that a third variable, which is Jewish ancestry, uh, then that creates a, a tier level for us of patients who ought to be screened for Gaucher disease. We haven't yet been able to prioritize a point scheme. That's our next uh, analysis of this data. But right now we know what, what the critical variables are from which we can create a diagnostic algorithm. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to craft guidelines for non-Gaucher experts as to who to be tested. And there are two reasons here. One is to get early diagnosis of patients who should be diagnosed. And number two, in countries where there's limited resources for testing, to identify that population which should be tested versus those that shouldn't be tested. So our goals are trying to craft, uh, to find the penumbra, the shadow around the main symptomatic patients and find patients who may be earlier in symptomatology who would benefit from at least a diagnosis. Whether those patients need to be treated or not is a different question.